Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. I can see, I can see. Good evening, teacher. Teacher, se ve raro. Eso estoy mirando. Aquí no. no se veía un principio. Sí, pero no sé por qué no me da el filtro. Bingo. That is me. Ahora sí. My goodness. Okay, we are so close to finish this module. For the reason you need to be really happy, you know. Yeah, Claudia está en su casita. Yes. I guess. I yes. <laughs> okay, how was your trip to Mexico, Claudia? Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? Yes, a lot. <laughs> okay. That's great. Was a, a family trip? Um, no, with my boyfriend and my, I don't know, ¿Cómo se dice cuñada? <laughs> brother-in-law. Ah, brother. Bueno, sister-in-law, entonces. Oh, sister-in-law, sí, es en Brasil. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, qué bueno. <laughs> yeah. Ana Lilian, the baby is sleeping, maybe. Ana Lilian. Está seria Ana Lilian ahora. No nos oye. Laura. Hello, Laura. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I am fine, teacher. Thank okay. <laughs> Here, I'm close to finish this module. In order to have a, 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 a week free. Next one is going to be free for me, I guess. Have you heard, when are you going to start the new module? No? ¿Han oído qué fecha van a iniciar el siguiente módulo? No, no me no. recuerdo. No, hay día. Es que enviaron la información, pero no, no me acuerdo si leí eso, ya lo voy a buscar. No, lo leí yo. No lo he leído, eso es todo. Maybe yes, but I don't remember. Mm. 
Buena técnica es esa. <risa> yeah. Ahora ya lo busco. Buena, buena técnica es. Inglés corporativo es, ¿verdad? Mm. Bien, hija. No, 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 no. Buena. Microphone, please. Bien, Paque, bien, Paque. Bien, Paque. Teacher, este, la fecha. Vení, vení, vení. Tentativa. Tranquilo, vení. La fecha tentativa es el 18 de abril. 18 de abril ya pasó. Así va. <risa> Ay, espérame, es que estoy viendo otro. Ay. Ya pasó. Teacher, pero ese es el que nos habían mandado. Ok, entonces estamos retrasados una semana. Uh -huh. Porque lo, lo mandaron el 29 de, de marzo. Sí, entonces posiblemente sea la primera semana de mayo. Ajá, porque ahí lo estoy viendo, donde dice inglés intermedio 4. Terminando y... en, ahí por el 10 de junio. Fecha límite de, de inscripción, 8 de abril, dice, y fecha tentativa de inicio, 18 de abril. Sí. O se equivocaron en la fecha ahí, donde ten, fecha tentativa. Maybe. Maybe. Hello, teacher. Ok, Ana Beatriz is there, Laura too, and Ana Lilian is there. Hello, teacher, me escucha. Ana Lilian, ¿por qué está enojada? Teacher, no, teacher, si no sé si me escucha, ¿me escucha? Sí, le estamos oyendo. Ah, oh, es que se ponía frisada la pantalla y yo no escuchaba nada. Sí, por eso la vi así bien seria, no le hemos hecho nada. <risa> Ay, aquí estoy, no sé por qué se pone frisada y no escucho nada, si el internet ya lo pagó. <risa> La señal es la señal, ya por estos días se corta. No, si tengo buena señal, aparecen todas las rayitas. Pero ah, no ok. ¿Y tú vives en Osuluta? No. ¿Dónde vives, Ana Lili? San Miguel. San Miguel. Sí. ¿En lo fresco? Sí. Yes. ¿En lo fresco? Yo le digo a Zaira que ya no necesito ir al infierno, porque aquí estoy pagando los pecados <ríe> con el calor que es acá. Ok. Y en el mero centro, teacher, donde no hay nada más que calor. Uh. In the downtown area. Tiene que sembrar un par de arbolitos. Tengo, pero me toca cortar las ramas porque a los vecinos les molestan las ramas. Entonces, pásatelo. Pobre árbol. Pobre árbol. Okay, let me check out the attendance now. 
No sé por qué se pone lento por ratos. Será porque tengo muchas cosas abiertas. Ah, uh, ok. Uh, let me see. Francis, are you there? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to know if you already uh, took the, the midterm exam. No sé si hizo ya el midterm cuando revisé no lo había hecho. La semana, no, y la semana 3. Me falta una semana. <ríe> Yo creo que todo me falta, teacher. Ok, a lo que están mañana me, voy a, mañana me voy a poner al día, teacher. Ok. No, ok. No he podido. Ok. Mucho compromiso. Y yeah. es. Mucho trabajo. Yes. Ok, Adriana del Cano. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Ana Mariela. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. Present teacher. José Jonathan. Ya no apareció Jonathan. Juan Carlos. No, it's not there. Eh, Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Zaira Marlene. Zaira. Are you there, Zaira? No. Okay, um, Santos Misael. Present teacher. Ah, he's there, he's there, Misael is there. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleyma. Jenny. Jenny. Yesenia Lisset. No. Bautista. Present teacher. And Mario Ernesto. It's not here too. Okay. Present teacher. Ah, is there, is there, is there. Yes. Um, uh, a finger mistake. Okay. Welcome to all of you. Glad to see you again. We are going to continue with the lesson for today. Uh, it, it is related with the topic that we studied yesterday. But before to start with the topic, I would like to know uh, something related with the use of some uh, web page in order to create uh, infographics. I don't know if, if you are able to, to use it. Me gustaría saber si ya han usado alguna plataforma o página web para crear infografías. Yes? No? No, Tisha. Okay. What about you, Wendy? Mayra? No, teacher. Ana Lilian? El que, teacher? Teacher. Okay, okay, no problem, no problem. Para hacer qué? <laughs> In infografías. 
Mm, no. No idea. No idea. Okay. No idea. Okay, no problem. What is that teacher? Uh, an infography, it is a new way how to present an information in order that people can see it. Es una manera más fácil de presentar la información para que las personas asimilen lo que se va a presentar en vez de hacerla en PowerPoint. Pero si no, eh, si no se puede, lo vamos a hacer en lo más simple que es PowerPoint, una actividad que tenga que hacer hoy. Ok, don't worry about it. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Maria Elena, I don't see you. You maybe you are driving or yeah, you look like it's in the car. Yes, teacher. Driving. Okay, be careful, be careful. Okay. Um let us talk about the previous topic that we studied yesterday. And based on that, we are going to start talking. Okay, what do you remember about the previous topic? I remember teacher the category the brand and different brand. The main the main point yesterday, um I would like to hear it. Me gustaría oír el, el tema principal de ayer. And, and remember I told you, okay, try to remember this information I told you yesterday. Traten de recordar esta información. Restringe. Pero ustedes, no sé. Estoy tomando apuntes. And also, there is a, a concept. But what, is the, what was the main topic? ¿Cuál fue el tema principal de ayer? Tell me the main topic of yesterday. Topic is uh, brand our awareness. ¿Cómo se dice la palabra, teacher? Brand our awareness. Ah, uh, brand awareness. Awareness. Okay. Okay. Somebody wants to give me the concept about that. Alguien me quiere dar el concepto de lo que es. Como conciencia. About? About the product. Ok, about the product. Ok, ese es su concepto. Somebody else? Ver eh, house. Eh, wow. Brand our awareness is a marketing strategy that leads consumer to develop and instinctive, instinctive uh, preference uh, towards a um, brand and is in this product. Okay. Maria? What else do you remember about yesterday? ¿Qué más recuerdan de ayer? What else? Yes, let me know.
I remember I told you, okay, I'm going to explain this in a slowly way because later on you are going to use it, I said. Yo me recuerdo que les dije ayer, les voy a explicar esto muy lentamente para que les quede muy claro porque luego lo vamos a usar. I told you, I told you yesterday, I guess. I'm pretty sure about that. Okay. And also, uh, we were discussing or talking about different stages. Do you remember it or not? Se recuerdan que estuvimos hablando de diferentes tipos, no? Hello. Yeah. Is is the different brand and and recognize recognize the the brand. Eh, para decir solo con escucharlo. As soon as you listen. As soon as you listen. Tan pronto lo oyes. Okay, but but I mentioned uh son stage, you know? ¿Cuál fue el primero que mencionamos ayer? Recuerdo la palabra car. And I gave you some examples, I remember. Brown recall, oh, recall, okay. recall. <laughs> okay, brown recall, okay. Is a consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. Algo así escribí, teacher. Okay, okay. Ahí está la idea. And that is the main point, okay? Okay, what else do you remember? What else do you remember? After we call, what is the next step? What is the next step? I'm going to stop in order to see your faces. Okay, tell me, what do you remember about? No idea? No idea? Uh, Oh, okay. It's just busy now, busy now. Okay, in order to remember, what you need to do is just to take a look at the uh, your material and there you are going to find out the information, some uh, part of the information that I shared with you yesterday because the first uh, concept that we discussed was brand recall. And we uh, were sharing some example about this. The second one was recognition. What do you remember about recognition? And you resolve exercise number four in your book. The third one is top of mind. 
Do you remember? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, tell me, share with me. That is what I want to hear. No recognition. Consumer can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual way. In a visual way, okay? Way, yes. A visual way. Okay. What else? Somebody else? What is the next step after recognition? Top so, of mind. Okay, top, top of mind. What, what is that? Somebody remember? Do you remember that uh, I, I was uh, giving you some categories and I gave you some examples? And we have some, something like a contents between ladies and gentlemen yesterday. We talk about car oil, uh, you talk about lipstick. Do you remember that? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, that is what I, I need that you connect with, uh, with the information that we are going to study today. We need to connect the previous knowledge with the new one. Okay, let us start now talking about uh, the main point for today. Because you don't want to talk, I don't know why you don't want to talk. Más creo que han oído una, una canción que así dice. I don't want to talk anymore. Ya la han oído, ¿cierto? ¿No? No les creo. Yes, Elena Gómez. Ah, ok, ok. Ahí está, Selena Gómez. Okay, excellent. Uh, in exercise number six, uh, we are going to talk about how to use expression to clarify a, a point. You got it in your book. Let me show you your book. It's going to be better. You are going to see it uh, bigger, I guess. Let me see the page where you have it. It is on page number 35. Yes, it's there. Okay, I'm going, I'm going to show you uh, your book is going to be better. Let me see it. I got it here. Okay. I got it here. Okay, so uh, how to use expression to clarify a point. Look at the example in the box, then complete the exercises below. Sometimes we need to introduce clarification, the explanation or exemplification of our ideas as we speak. Use in, or in other words, that is to say, simply put etc. to make your point clear to others. Okay, uh, let me see who wants to read the first example that we got there. Who wants to read it? Number one. No volunteers to read? Nadie quiere leer. Me teacher. Okay, Anna Lillian, thank you. Look at the example in the box. The 
completed the exercise below. Sometimes we need to introduce clarification, the explanation or ex exemplification of our idea is we speak use in other words that is to say simply put it is said to make your point clear to others okay could you read the number one please one way to help your Tiger make market 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 like and choose to is to publish of often draw online channel channel in other world write a blog that import enter enter eyes and educate okay um let us read again one way to help your target market like and trust you is to publish often through online channels you know the words write a blog that inform entertain and educates Es decir, uh, da, uh, esas palabras que están en negría son las que vamos a usar in order to clarify what we want to say. Okay, uh, if you want, you can read again and then you are going to give me an example using uh, the words involved. At the beginning of this curve, when I gave you the instruction and all the rules, this uh, project, I told you that you need to have 80% uh, of your assistant in order to approve. In other words, if you fail more than uh, more than four or five. That means that uh, maybe you are not going to be promoted. I don't know if you got my example. No sé si me comprendieron el ejemplo. Hello. I don't know if you got what I'm trying to say. What we need to use it, uh, today are some specific words that we are going to use it to clarify a point. Algunas palabras claves que vamos a necesitar para aclarar eh, algunos puntos. I don't know if you, if you got what I'm saying. In this case, for example, in this module, uh, if you don't read, si usted no lee about the topic that we are studying, sobre los temas que estamos estudiando, uh, it is going to be difficult for you to understand it. In other words, in other words, what you need to do is just to create a vocabulary and you are going to look for all those words that you consider that are difficult and you don't know the meaning. Okay, there is my example using. Ahí está mi ejemplo otra vez usando eso. En otras palabras, 
Okay, I mean, I, I need to that you create an example. Hello? Hello? Are you there? See, television is entertaining. In other words, TV shows are fun. Okay, okay, you are clarifying a point. Okay, somebody else, somebody else. If you want, you can relate it with the, with the brand, the topic that we are studying with the brand awareness, if you want. But if you, if you want to give me another example, okay, don't worry about it. But let us see the second one. You can increase your rating or rating as an expert and reach a broader market by developing a podcast that is record your talks and all allows your customer to download it okay i need that you focus your attention in the words more and how you are going to use it too Well, what is the meaning of that is? Hello? Eso es, teacher. Eso es. Ah, oh, okay, podría, podría ser. What else? Quiere decir, could be two. Pero tenemos que buscarle algo que se acerque más. Okay, take a look at this sentence. You can increase your rating as an expert and reach a broader market by developing a podcast. There is record your talks and allow you, your customer to download it. ¿Cuál sería la mejor traducción ahí? Es decir, de tal manera que ¿Cuál otra se puede acercar a eso? Creo que serían como las más, uh, las más cercanas, ¿no? It is, it is like if I tell you, okay, uh, this is going to be the topic for tomorrow. Este uh, será el tema para mañana. Every one of you uh, need to be prepared. Teacher. Hello, sir. Uh, and... Daily use, what is the most common? Excuse me? In, in, in daily use, in the common, common use in there. Okay. What okay. is the most common? Well, all depend. All depend on the situation. In my case, I can use all of them. At least uh, there is not uh, an, a specific rule that said that you are going to use this one for this and that one for that. 
we, because right now we are seeing uh, this uh, expression in a general way in order to clarify uh, certain points. I don't know if you got what I'm trying to say. No sé si me comprendió mi respuesta. Ahí va a depender de qué, yes, de, de, de qué es lo que quiere, de qué es lo que quiere aclarar. ¿Sí? De eso va a depender más que todo, ¿cierto? Pero les pregunto el significado en español porque eh, es, me, se me hace más fácil cuando ya tienen un concepto en español de cómo lo van a relacionar. But uh, the best way that I have in order uh, to be sure that you know what you are doing is uh, that you give me some examples. Y la mejor manera que tengo para saber si vamos a usar esto adecuadamente es que me den ejemplos en la vida práctica. Ya, y estaba eh, dándole como uno de ellos. Uh, if, I, if I tell you, okay, this is, this is gonna be the topic for tomorrow. Yo les digo, este va a ser el tema para mañana. You need to read it. And be prepared. That is, I'm going to choose one of you and you are going to explain what you understand about. Este es el tema para mañana. Prepárense, por favor. Es decir, Sí, estén listos porque yo les voy a hacer una pregunta a cada uno y deben de explicarme qué es lo que comprendieron. Desde el momento que les digo estén listos, estén preparados, significa que algo más va a pasar, pero queda la duda. Y alguien dice, ¿será que vamos a hacer una exposición o qué es lo que vamos a hacer? In another word, in other words, You need to know the topic. Necesitan saber el tema. Okay, but let us continue with that number three. Today, customers are looking for guarantees. Simply put, exceptional service after they have purchased your product. The first thing that you need to look for is the meaning of those words. Tienen que buscar el significado de esas palabras. What is the meaning? Hello? Hello. Hello. De manera sencilla. Podría ser una. Un sinónimo. O simplemente. Ah, ok. Podría ser otra. Pero tenemos más. En pocas palabras, ¿sí? Para resumir, en resumen, quedémonos hasta ahí. Cuando ya estemos en el advance, entonces soltamos. 
Ahora, tomele sentido a la oración. Today customers are looking for warranties. Simply put, a sectional service after they have pushed your product. ¿Sí? Hello. Hello. No, lo veo demasiado shy. No sé qué, no sé qué pasa. I don't know what is happening today. I don't know. I don't know. I And what about? Hello. Feel tired. Feel tired. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, number four. Another free marketing resource for your current internet customer is inviting them to participate in a social network site, namely a Facebook group. What is the meaning of the word name? Specifically, teacher, or oh, specifically in Spanish, concretamente. Ah, okay. Namely. Okay, now, um, well, also we missed one. The ultimate marketing goal is to have uh, your target market think of you. This, which mean, right here we can say, this means that you must focus our satisfaction customer need. Okay, what is the meaning of this? Two words, this mean or which means. Lo que significa. De forma coloquial podríamos decir esto quiere decir, esto significa que, lo cual nos dice que diferentes formas de cómo lo vamos a. a a usar, pero lo que quiero es, por eso le estoy diciendo así en español, pero si ya lo saben es mucho que mejor, porque después lo vamos a usar. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. Because remember, we are using this expression uh, to clarification, to explanation, for exemplification, for these three words. Para uh, dejar muy claro algo, para explicar algo, para hacer una ejemplificación de algo. Para eso vamos a hacer uso de estas palabras. Pero como dije, lo más importante es ponerlas justamente en ejemplos. Y ahí me va usted a decir si ¿sí? comprendió el significado de lo que hemos dicho o no. Okay, let us work in exercise. Uh, okay, but before go to this exercise, I'd like to know if you have any questions so far from here. Pero antes me gustaría saber si hay alguna pregunta related with this one. In other words, in, in other words, that is to say, simply puts, namely, this which This mean or which mean? Ahí están. And then we are going to work on exercise number seven. Right here, we are going to insert an expression to clarify a point in the following sentences. Add the necessary punctuation to join the close and a phrase together. And we got uh, an example. One way to increase brand awareness is to generate online 
advertising, simply put, social networking site. Uh -huh, okay. What about number two? Brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. The consumer knows that a particular brand exists. You need to look where you are going to add something. Number three, brand recognition happens when a customer is able to identify a certain product or service by viewing the product's logo. Number four, these brands have become well-known. They have replaced the common term for similar products in our language. And the last one, number five, say you have to publish high quality content by creating valuable content to be introduced to new audiences. Okay, try to try to resolve. And then we are going to compare. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and you are going to start working on it. If you have any questions so far from here, just let me know, please. Question, question, question. Or do you feel complicated? Just tell me, be honest and talk. Or easy. Hello? Teacher. When we know where put the word? ¿Cómo podemos saber qué palabra vamos a usar? Okay, you, you need to think. ¿O dónde? Uh -huh. ah, o, o dónde, dónde. Okay. ¿Dónde? Cuando usted ya ha dado una explicación y ve que hay otra extra, entonces ahí va en medio. Le voy a dar un ejemplo en español. Usted le da permiso a un hijo o a una hija y le dice, a las nueve de la noche estás aquí. Sí. ¿Qué puedo agregar después? En otras palabras... Si vienes más tarde, te castigo. No sé si me comprenden qué es lo que yo quiero. Ahí estoy clarificando lo que yo estoy diciendo. No le estoy diciendo de una, sino que primero comienzo así y después le clarifico. No sé si los he dejado pensativos o no sé, I don't know. But I would like to know what do you think about the exercise? Or, or you are resolving now, maybe. Okay, I'm going to give you uh, some minutes. Try to resolve it and then we are going to compare it. Don't worry about it. Pero ahorita I need to check out the attendance. Necesito checar la asistencia. Ok, por eso es que estaba como pidiéndoles que me dieran la traducción de cada una de esas palabras para que al momento de que las vayan a usar ya sepan qué es lo que están usando.
Generalmente todas estas palabras las vamos a usar cuando vamos a clarificar, a aclarar algún tema que sea complejo, ¿no? Ok, Adriana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ok, um, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Mariela. Present. Carlos Antonio. Claudia Raquel. Present. Francis, José Jonathan, Juan Carlos Rivas, Laura, Present teacher. María Concepción, Present teacher. Mayra Veralice, Present teacher. Zaira Marleni, Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny Sulaima. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Bautista. And Mario Ernest. Okay, let us work in the in the exercise that we have. There. Present teacher. Okay, Carlos, don't worry. Let me know as soon as you finish, please. Tan pronto haya finalizado mi avisa para comenzar. We are going to compare.
Una pregunta, teacher. Sí. La palabra that is, solo es that is o that is to say. No, in this case, you can use it only as that is. Okay. Same. And also you can use uh, that is to say, but but we use it in a, in a simple way when we say that is. Okay, let me know if you finish. Finish. Okay. What about the rest? Finish. Okay.
for the rest. Hello. Do you finish? All of you? Not yet. Okay, I guess we are going to compare it now in order that you have your ideas because, because of the time, but we need to do something now. Okay, let us see uh, number one. Who wants to, to tell me? Okay, number two. Who wants to read it? Number two is brand, brand recognition is very important elements of brand awareness of, in other words, the consumer notes that's a uh, particular brand access. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Because you are clarifying, you are giving more explanation about that. Okay, number number three. Brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service, simply put by viewing the product look. Mm. I think that's the picture. Okay, you got in that way. Somebody else? You see a name? Excuse me? A name? No sé cómo se pronuncia a name. Naily. Naily. Oh my. Naily. Naily. Yeah. Okay. It sounds better in that way. Brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service. Naily by viewing the product's logo. Okay. What about number four? Number four. Number four, please. 
these brands have become well known, which means they have replaced to common terms for similar products in our language. And also there you can use, uh, in other words, or maybe you can say this mean. Okay. okay. Number five. Okay, tell me. Number five. You have to publish him quality content. High quality, high quality content. High quality. Creating. Value upon today's produce a new audience. A new audience, okay, nice. It is in, it is in that way. Okay, um, maybe answering the question that somebody asked me, Quizás como un punto clave es que estas palabras van a ir después de que termine una oración, es decir, donde está el punto indicando que continúa la siguiente. Entre medio de esos espacios es que va a ir. Y eso les va a, a dar mayores ideas de cómo usar ese tipo de palabras. Cuando ya las tengan, será más fácil. Ahorita, eh, ¿qué? Puede ser como... Todavía les queda una duda pensando uso esta, uso la otra. Generalmente, algunas veces podemos usar varias. No solamente una. Y por ahí habían algunos conceptos. Eh, about son of them, not all of them, but son of them. For example, um, in other words, definition of, in other words, used to introduce a statement that repeat what has been said in a different and usually a simpler or more exact way. For example, she said the movie was a bit predictable. In other words, she didn't like it. I don't know if you got that example. Haga un screenshot, por favor, si necesita esa info. ¿Es done? Yes. Sí. Okay. That is to say, use when explaining more clearly what you have just said. Some wine have uh, proprietary names. That is to say, their names were created by the producer. And the second use, use when you are going to correct something that you have just said. I always enjoy my work. That is, I did until this new manager arrived. Make an screenshot too if you want. Simple put, two different way how we can use it. Simple put is equal to simply express. This is an easy and understandable way to put this idea into words. Imagínese todo lo que podemos abarcar o lo que podemos decir con esas dos palabras. The second use, simple, uh, put simple, but this is in, in, all the way around. Express simply this idea, put into words that are easily understood. Hay que tener cuidado ahí en el orden, por favor, en el orden que vamos a usar. And the last one, uh, you use namely to introduce detailed information about the subject you are discussing. 
or a particular aspect of it. One group of people seems to be forgotten, namely pensioners. They were wholly aware of the challenge facing them, namely to reestablish prosperity. Okay, make an screenshot too, please, in order that you can have it. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Me voy a detener ahí, ya le di los conceptos. And in a, in a hurry, uh, voy a hacerlo de manera rápida, compartir un ejemplo de lo que necesito que hagamos. Oops, no card, no card. Okay, you are going to do something like this. Of course, that is not going to be long like the one that I'm going to show you. Lo que necesito es que ustedes, uh, you are going to create an infography. Van a crear como una infografía. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, you are going to use my PowerPoint to do this. All depend on the ability that you are going to have in order to talk about this. Okay, take a look at this. This is an example. Este es un ejemplo de el brand uh, awareness that we talked yesterday. But uh, right here, it is um, related with one yoga studio, you know, awareness campaign. Okay, take a look at that. Uh, and don't forget that you need to look for a logo or something like that. And the color had to do with this. Okay, maybe you are not going to create all the information that I'm going to show you, but at least I'm going to give you some ideas. One yoga studio, community-based yoga studio located in the heart of Charlton, Manchester. And you can see the picture there. Take a look at the picture, see the different pictures. It's a, it's a neat and really clean area where people can lay down on the floor and enjoy. Okay, one practice, our practice offer a strength, flexibility and focus for the body and mind to assist us to flow through our urban life as a calmer, happier and a healthier person. Yeah, that, that is wrote by Andrea Eviranham, founder of One Yoga Studio. He's the owner. That is the law. The symbol OM characterizes the brand presence. It represents the seed of all creation. It is the beginning, middle, and the end of it all. For, for one yoga, this Hindu sign irradiates energy and sense of oneness. One Yoga Studio offers classes with different types of yoga, but follow the concept that there is only one yoga, as the whole is overall the same. To find harmony and balance the union of body, mind, and soul. These are kind of concepts that we are given here. Okay, we got some facts about this. What is yoga? The word yoga comes from the Sanskrit word youth. Meaning the job, join our unique, this imply joining or integrating all aspects of the individual body with mind and mind with thought to achieve a happy balance and youthful life and spiritually uh, uniting the individual with the supreme. Lander Yoga 2006. This is a concept. And also here we got the benefit health benefits of yoga, yoga and the body, increase flexibility, strain the muscle and tendon, increase bone density, develop balance and coordination, strengthen posture and body alignment, uh, improve functional internal organ, 
And also we got the yoga in the mind, improve discipline, enhance mental focus, increase energy, and so on. Because I'm, I'm just giving you uh, some ideas. The main objective of this project is to create an awareness campaign to educate, inspire, and motivate the stress out moms. Ace. 35, 45, to achieve a health lifestyle through the daily practice of yoga. Presenting one yoga studio as an enable and safe heaven. Okay, remember that uh, we, we, we got our target audience here. Aquí tenemos ya a qué personas nos dirigimos. Eso es muy importante. Okay, what else? We got some challenges. How is yoga perceived? Um, and we have different concepts, but uh, maybe I'm going just to show you some of them. Yoga is just for people who had a lot of time. And yoga is only appropriate for spiritual people. That is what some people think about. To communicate the health benefit of yoga as part of the daily routine for the target audience, it is necessary to change the perception of yoga and make it available. And the campaign objective, make yoga accessible, present one yoga studio as an enable and safe heaven, provide actionable guides and tools. And the positioning, moms in yoga today, yoga as an athletic activity, like consuming expertise needed, one yoga studio, uh, no nouns, Moms and yoga tomorrow, yoga available and reachable, adaptable to one need, balance to the daily routine and so on. But I'm going to stop here because of the time. What I need that you do is the following. And we have it in our material. I just share with you some ideas that what you need to work on it is the exercise number eight, Work group design uh, an infography about the benefit of investing and in increasing brand awareness. Maybe you are not going to design something like the one that I show you, but what you need to think is uh, related with benefit of investing in increasing brand awareness. Tomen en cuenta los aspectos que ya mencionamos ayer que son los siguientes. Al momento de hacer su infografía, una presentación es una infografía, no se compliquen. Hay que tomar en cuenta a uh, estos aspectos, brand recall, recognition, chart of mind, brand dominance, I'm not brands. Ok. Uh, based on that, you are going to work together in groups. And then you are going to share your element. Pero para eso necesitan organizarse muy bien. Van a tener un promedio de, let me see, uh, like 25 minutes in order to do this. And I'm going to create the groups. I got only a 17. Let me see, I'm going to put four on it. Okay, I'm going to create four groups. In the third one, uh, you are going to have like a five. If I see that some people uh, are not uh, working there, I'm going to assign somebody else. Okay, pero necesito que tengan claro qué es lo que van a hacer. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Van a diseñar una infografía acerca de los beneficios. Sí. Os investing in increasing brand awareness. Teacher, y tenemos que poner una marca en específico. Tenemos que crear una marca. Mm, no necesariamente, más que todo enfoquémonos 
para que no nos compliquemos, enfoquémonos en lo que tenemos ahí. Eh, lo que nos pide es hacer una infografía relacionada con los beneficios de invertir y de aumentar el brand awareness en, en, en una marca, desde luego. Pero hablemos de forma general, si ustedes gustan, para que no se complique en la vida. Ok. Ok. Let us do it now. Let me see the time that I'm going to give you now. Ten minutes. Y traten de organizarse muy bien, por favor, porque quiero resultados de esto. No me vayan a decir, no, es que fíjense que no trabajamos, porque esto y esto. Ok, here we go. Uno de todos será el que va a ir dando como el diseño de lo que van a ir haciendo. Ahorita, eh, bien, van a tener como 25 minutos para hacerlo. Ok, here we go. Please accept the invitation in order that you go to your breakout room. María Concepción. Sí, me, me saca y me vuelve a entrar nuevamente, así que no sé qué pasa. No la veo acá para poderle enviar. Ah, pero aparenta que tiene la invitación. Pero yo no tengo nada, o sea, no me parece nada. Yesenia, ¿está there? ¿A Mariela? I got some. Okay, I'm going to try to move it to, to send it to another group. Déjeme mover la otra a ver si ahí le funciona. La voy a enviar para, para el 3. Pero acá lo que me dice es que usted no se ha unido. Y se Vea su WhatsApp, ahí le mandé y no me sale nada de enviar ni nada, solo me parece que y todo. Qué raro. Sí, está raro. Y siempre le aparece el mismo código. Sí, igual. Lo mando al 3. Vamos a ver si le llega la invitación ahora. Me, me aparece y se vuelve a quitar de una sola vez. Ah, o sea, pues... cuando le voy a dar el me quito. Algo, algo está ahí, Claudia Raquel. Here is one asking for help. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Okay. 
Hello, Claudia. May I help you? Okay. Hello, teacher. Uh, uh, we want to project. Share. Share screen. Ah, oh, you need to share. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. You got it. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. My, goodness, my, my microphone is not working. Lo había intentado dos veces enviarla, pero no he podido. No sé por qué. Ya, me iba a enviar al, al 3. Es que me parecía que debía entrar al 3, pero cuando le iba a pasar, me sacaba desaparecía otra vez. Y lo tengo en el 3. Pero hoy la voy a mandar al 2. Tal vez ahí se queda.
El mío ya no funciona. Maybe I'm going to share some idea with you in a hurry. I don't know if you can see it. Como hacer una infografía en cinco pasos. The first one is the, that you need to, to, to see el esquema de, la, de lo que vamos a hacer. Sería precisamente eso. El dos, tener los datos, la información. El número tres, ¿cómo se van a ver el, el, la mejor tabla o la imagen que va a usar? El cuatro, elija la plantilla de diseño, si lo va a hacer en PowerPoint. Y el cinco, agregue estilo a su diseño eh, de la infografía. Usted le puede poner efecto si es que le da el tiempo. Idea fácil es que podemos usar, así es que here we go again but today I'm gonna give you less time because of the time that we've got ok, traten de avanzar en lo que puedan por favor
Okay, I'm not sure when they are working on their infographic. But later with the topic that we are studying. Okay, let us see what you have. Let us see, let us see what you have now. Okay, teacher. Okay, my, you can share it now. We don't know if that is the, for, uh, the a good, Good topic, but it is benefits of brand awareness. It's to the market, it's to the consumer, not the main, the brand. Uh, next one, group. We know the product. We know if the target people know the product. Characteristic. Why not if everyone knows characteristic of the benefits and price? En ca cada uno que va participando por cierre el micro. What's next? Next. What's next?
Mario. You are able to save it and you can share it with uh, the place. Fine. Find out. You know about the ability of the product. Me finish the call. Central association of your brand in the minds of your potential customer. Okay, thank you. If you can save it and share it with the group, it's, it's going to be better. Okay, so Maria. Here we go. Um, can you see it? Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, benefits of investing in increasing brand awareness. <laughs> okay. Um, give your brand a personal marketing. This means connect a relationship with customers. And then say 89% of shoppers say loyal to brands that they share values with. And 59% of customers prefer to buy from brands they already know about. Brand awareness is crucial in determining how customers make their choice. In other words, brand awareness helps customers recall, understand, and become comfortable with your products and service. Okay, thank you. Try to save it and then you can share it in the group. Somebody else? Ahorita. Okay. Okay. Bigger, bigger. Oh, okay. Benefit wow. of investing in increasing brand awareness. Uh, what important the brand? What is the the important uh the brand awareness? Uh, it's important because it is very first step in the marketing funnel and a crucial foundation to eventually acquire customers. The first one uh, expand your audience. It refers to reaching a greater number of people who can become a customer. The second one is build, uh, build uh, brand affinity. Uh, it's building an emotional connection between a brand and its customers. Um, in place, Martin shared in size. Brands awareness is often the first step in branding, performance, the marketing goals, such uh, as levels and size. This case in new place, investing in brand awareness will open doors for new business that you never uh, know. Existing and and it again expose you to channel in audience with the power to re-energize your marketing operation. Improve brand perception. Brand awareness campaigns don't just help more people know about your business. They can also chase how people. Uh, this about your business contribution to overall brands affinities and brands loyalty. Okay, okay. Uh, save it. 
if you if you can uh, guardenla y la pueden compartir después en el grupo los compañeros tengan o que quieran ok son variados variado teacher eh, hemos hecho solo una parte pero no sé si la presentamos así no or uh, we can do it tomorrow at the beginning of the class microphone yeah it's done it's done it's done okay don't worry uh, you can uh oh o la presentamos teacher Es que no la hemos terminado la idea y teníamos puesto así. Ok, presente lo que tiene. Ok. Eh, is, is the brand Kia eh, New Mar? Eh, new brand eh, es, es este lo, es el logo. Eh, después habíamos puesto the characters eh, I teach a useful electric model with which the company seems to become a sustainable mobility, mobility solution company uh, the the all electric segment combining progressive design, cutting edge technology, and a revolutionary and innovative advanced in electric power train. Y habíamos puesto eh, lo que espera, las cómo se llama las las metas o the goals, eh, sale global sale. A y B acceleration, connect to the experience y como el producto, ¿qué? Eh, la promoción, digamos, eh, lo que es como número uno, Indy, Indy, ¿qué? Indy, eh, 20, 20, 13 years. Y había puesto reconocimiento de de Brown. Eh, puede seguir eh, María Elena. Reconocimiento. Design of this product is inspired by water. Use recycled materials. It is development no, developed from ocean ocean debris that possess a threat to the marine ecosystem. The connection with nature is present in its front with the stellar inspiration, the solar planet panel on the hood or the glass stru structure, which lets light and enter an interior with a 27 inch interactive screen. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. The rest, uh... Try to keep it, try to save it. Tra traten de guardar lo que hicieron. Eh, lo demás los mostramos el día de mañana al inicio de la clase. Just let me check out the attendance because of the time. I do really thank you for your effort. Les agradezco el esfuerzo que han hecho. Y los que no pasaron, traten de tenerlo para el día de mañana para poderlo ver.
Adriana del Carmen. Present. Ana Beatriz. Present, teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Ana Mariela. Present, teacher. Escobar. Present. Claudia. Present. Francis. José Jonathan. Juan Carlos Rivas. Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Zaira Marlene Larín. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleiman. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Bautista. Present teacher. And Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night, bye-bye, tomorrow. Bye-bye. 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 B